everyone welcome to this video today i'm going to give you a tour of my new google sheets habit tracker template you can find the link to purchase this in the description down below this is a 12 month version which means you will have all of your 12 months in one spreadsheet and you don't necessarily have to start in january you can start on any month that you want so let's choose november and then the rest of the spreadsheet will update automatically you can also choose the color of your progress bar so right now i use this pink color but you can choose a green color you can choose any color that you want i'm going to show you in a moment how you change that and then you can also choose on every month when you want your bars to change color so right now i have this set at 60 percent, but i could set it at 50 percent, and that's when my bars will switch color and then you can decide what both of those colors are going to be so you get the sheet where you customize your template you get a summary which will pull overall values from each sheet and it also doubles as a sort of index in which you can just click and you'll quickly jump into the corresponding sheet. I also included these sheets so you can track your yearly goals. I left space for 10 different areas of your life or 10 anything that you want this to be. This is completely optional. You can decide how you want to use it. And once you actually accomplish something, you can just check this box and then you get these mini calendars for reference that are read only and that will highlight the corresponding month and the corresponding day and then you get your habit tracker sheets and each monthly sheet you get a space for daily habits so these are the ones that you're supposed to do every single day then you get a space for other habits and these habits are things that you want to do one to six times per week because if you did that seven times then that would become a daily habit so let's say you want to exercise only four times a week and then you check four boxes you're going to reach 100 percent so you reach 100 percent whenever you check these many boxes every week and then finally you get numeric trackers so you can also track things like glasses of water how are you feeling? How many hours did you sleep? How many pages did you read? And then you set your goal and each day you set your actual amount and then these bars are going to update automatically. And then if you scroll to the right, you get this monthly summary, these monthly stats. And as I mentioned, you can control when you want these progress bars to change colors. So if I change that to 60%, then they are going to turn a different color when they reach 60%. And then whatever percentage you set on each monthly sheet will also apply in this summary. So as you can see, this I set this to 40% and since this is over 40%, it turned pink. So that's the quick overview. And now I'm going to deep dive into every section just so you know what you're supposed to edit and what you're not supposed to edit. I'm gonna show you how to change the progress bar colors and I'm going to show you how to insert rows on every section in case you want to do that. So let's jump right into it. Once you open your template, you're going to come into the customize here sheet. And if you are working on a different language, you're gonna go into this section and you're going to change your months and then you're going to change your weekdays right here. Then you're going to select the month in which you want your spreadsheet to begin and you're going to set a year. So let's say I'm, I want this to start on December, 2022, or maybe you want to to wait until January and then that's you change that to 2023 and you're good to go. Now this section is the one that controls when your progress bars will change color. So bar hex one is the color that will be used when your percentage reaches whatever percentage you set as a minimum. So right now this is a pink color and the way you're gonna change that and the way you're gonna know what this hex value is, is I'm gonna come into any random cell up here and then I'm gonna select the color that I want. So let's say I want this light green color. I'm gonna select it. Then I'm gonna go back again. I'm gonna click on the bucket and then I'm gonna click on this plus sign. And when I do that, I'm gonna get this hex value right here. So I'm gonna copy that exactly as it is, including this hashtag symbol. Then I'm gonna click okay, and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna paste that value. And once I do that, if I come to check on my bars, my bars now became that color. And then if I want to change the color that my progress bars will have before they reach the percentage that I set, I do the exact same thing, only changing bar hex too. So I'm gonna come into any random cell, I'm gonna click on this bucket, I'm gonna select my color, I'm gonna click on the bucket again, 
I'm going to click on this plus sign and then I'm going to copy this value. You can also just find values online. It doesn't have to come from here. You can find these values online from any color palette that you want. And then you can come in and paste it here, including the hashtag symbol. Don't forget that one. And then if I come into my summary, I'm going to see that my bars are this color until they reach the percentage I set, then they become this other color. So you can play around with that. You can also play around with the shades. If I select this cell and then I click on this bucket, I click on the plus sign and I move this around. And once I have the one that I want, I can just select this value and paste it here and then my bars become that color. So that's how you do that. And then you're gonna enter areas of your life. And what this controls is this yearly goals section. So each area of your life that you add will automatically change the values in these tables for every single month. So you get these 10 tiny tables and then each table has room for eight goals. So this is where you can set your main goals for the entire month. You could also use it, maybe set your areas of your life and then you can do maybe week one week two and then you come in here and you said your main goals for week one your main goals for week two and then these are your overall goals for these areas of your life so this is completely optional and you can use it however you want there's no perfect way to use it it's just a sort of goal checklist a place where you can have all of your goals in a single place for the entire year and then you can look at it get inspired and stay on track keep your focus on these things that are maybe more general not that specific and then you get super specific on your habits so for example i want to read atomic habits that's one of my goals so what do i have to do to accomplish that so that could become a daily habit that could be read every day or I could just add it as a numeric tracker. And you can be super specific here and track the number of pages that you have been reading. The way you use this is completely and entirely up to you. You can start using it a certain way one month and then change your mind the next month and it's totally fine. These are automated, so you should never edit this. The only thing you edit here are these. Is the text right here and then you check the box. And I would suggest you don't copy and paste from a different spreadsheet into this area because if you do you might mess up the scratching effect if you find that you messed it up you can just go ahead and copy one that is still working you copy the checkbox you also copy the text you copy and you paste and then that will bring the formatting back and it will delete whatever formatting messed up that area and then you have your summary and it shows you the progress for your daily habits and for your other habits so it shows you an overall progress of each month it also shows you whatever percentage you set here whatever you set here will be shown here but this entire summary sheet is completely read only you should never edit anything here it's just a visual reference and then it also works as sort of index so whenever you click on any of these links this box appears and then if you click here you're going to jump into the corresponding sheet but just remember this entire sheet is read only you should never edit anything here now if we move on to the daily habits sheet the very first thing that you have to do is you have to input your habits so let's do habit one so whenever you check a box you're gonna see these updates to the number of days missing and it's also updating to your progress so it reaches 100 percent once you check every single box and then as you can see these bars are also moving and what's going on here is that whenever you check every single habit for every single day you will reach 100%. And if you complete every single habit, every single day of this week, then this bar, this big bar will reach 100%. Once I check everything, all of my bars are at 100%. So these are sort of my daily bars. So out of all the things that I wanted to do that day, how many daily habits did I accomplish? And then every single month starts on day one. So you start from scratch every single month, you start on day one, and then it's grouped every seven days. And then there's these three extra days right here. For example, in February, these are grayed out. There are no extra days after the day 28. And then on June, for example, you only get until the day 30. So each month contains every single day of that month and nothing else. So if I come back to the sheet that I was working on, I'm going to move down to other habits. So let's say I want to do yoga, I want to meditate, and then I want to 
go on a run. So I want to do these two times per week. I want to do these four times per week and I want to do these maybe three times. So whenever I check these many boxes inside a week, I will reach 100%. And then this will track how many tasks I completed each week. So I have these three tasks and then I completed just two of them but then now I completed all three of them. And then if you scroll down, you get your numeric trackers. So it can be hours slept, it can be mood. And then what you do is you set a goal right here. So let's say I want to sleep eight hours every day. And then each day you come in here and you write down how many hours you actually slept. And your bars will start moving automatically just as a visual reference. So this is the worst day. These are the best days. This is my overall percentage. And this is how many times I actually reached my goal. So my goal was eight and I reached it only two times, these two times. And then if I come in here and change this value to 90%, then my bars will not be green because I only managed to do 84%. And then if you scroll to the right, there's this monthly stats and then this shows the number of days that are expected these are the number of days in the month so if i come into february and i add a habit right here i'm gonna get 28 days expected because that's how many days there are in february and then there's how many days i have completed and how many days are missing for each habit so if i keep adding things here then I've completed 13 days and I'm missing 18 days. So you get uh, an overall progress for each of your habits. And then you get the progress for all of your daily habits together. And then for your other habits, this bar will move whenever you complete a week. So right here, I have completed just one week, this one, because I only reached 100% here. So I just have one right here, but if I also complete this one and then I also complete this one, then I have completed three weeks. And then since this is just a visual reference for simplicity, I didn't include these three extra days. So whenever you complete any one of these four weeks, your progress bars will move. And then you have your overall monthly progress for each of your numeric trackers. And then super important, if you want to add new rows, what you're going to do is you're going to come into any of the rows that are in the middle, not the first one and not the last one. And let's say you want to add three rows. So you're going to select three rows. You're going to right click and you're going to select insert three rows above or below, whatever you prefer. So I'm going to do below. And as you can see, this looks weird because you're missing one step. If I do this, if I add a habit, my boxes, it's not working because there aren't any formulas here. So as you can see, this is one of my original rows and has a formula. And this is one of my new rows and it doesn't have a formula. And the way you add the formula to it is you're going to come into any row that's not the first one and not the last one. So any row in the middle that is working properly, preferably something that doesn't have anything written on it. So this one, this is one of my original rows. It has the formulas and it has nothing else on it. So I'm going to copy that one. And then I'm going to select my three new rows and I'm going to paste. And now if I write a new habit on one of those rows, everything will work properly and that row will be considered. So it's very important that step number one, you insert rows. Step number two, you copy and paste the formulas and the formats and that you always do that from rows that are in the middle. Now, if I come down here, the way you insert rows here is exactly the same as I did up there. Again, you ignore the first and the last rows. You select a few rows, as many as you want to insert. So I right click and insert six rows above. So whatever number of rows you select is the number of rows that you can add. I'm going to do the test to show that it's not working because I haven't pasted my formulas yet, so nothing's moving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this empty row and then I'm gonna select all of my new rows, the ones that are looking weird right now, and I paste, and now everything works fine. You always have to set a number of days or it will highlight in yellow asking you for it. And then finally, if you want to insert any extra numeric trackers, I added plenty, but if you need more, 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna select either one or several of the trackers that are already there. These already have their formulas. So you're gonna select the empty space above as well as the empty space below. So let's say I want to add two. I'm going to select the empty space above and then I'm gonna go all the way down to the empty space below the second one. And then I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna come down to this very last row. I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna paste. And then if you want more, you can just keep on pasting and all the formulas will work properly. So you get 12 tabs, one for each month, and they are named this way. You can name them differently. So let's say you want to name this November. The only thing is that when you do that and you come into the summary, this won't be renamed automatically. This will change to November. The blue one will change to November, but the label up here will still be the old one. And if you want to change that, then you have to manually edit the link and just come in here and write November. And now you have November. So that's the only thing when you change sheet names, these won't change automatically. And then finally, these are translations for other labels. So if you want this on a different language, you can just come in here and change your translation on this white cells in the your translation columns and you don't change anything else. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me on Etsy. You can find the link to purchase this in the description down below. And thank you so much for watching.